What's our buddy? Here we are. Game two, I think? This is game two. Yeah. The last time I said game three, and it wasn't game three. It was game two. I don't know what the hell I'm doing. All right, so is this hand keepable? I have no black, but I can get a black with Sakura Tribe. I also have Trinket Mage. Yes, I think this is okay. Uh, yield till end of turn, because I don't like uh, waiting. Ooh, and there's my black. Perfect. Let's gain a life. <laughs> and he's cracking a pack in. He's taking it off. Ooh. My tra la laws. Oh, my ding dong. What the hell is this? Prowess. My dies draw card. Interesting card. I'm not really a fan of that card, actually. I think that's kind of a poopy card. Let's, um. Let's put this guy down. Let's put this guy down. I don't think there's going to be much of a blowout right now. What do you guys think I should do first? Should I block here? I don't really want to. I don't really want to, and I don't really need the lands yet, and I kind of want to kill this guy when I have Tragic Slip online. Trinket Mage? Uh-oh. What's he getting? What's he getting? We're both playing Trinket Mage, bro. Did you know that? Did you know? Did you know? Oh, you're getting a land. You're ramping up, I see. Okay. That's fine. I understand. Whatever. Hmm. Hmm. Well, I mean, really, this is my only play. The other one is Tragic Slip, which I could just keep up. Do I want to keep that up? Maybe I don't want to keep that up. Hmm. Uh, I'm going to just pick up my life gaining land. I know this will slow me down a little bit, but I don't think I give a fuck. So really, it's trade, Tragic Slip versus Executioner's Capsule, and Exo Capsule is better for the long game, so that's where we're going. That is where we're going, because I have decided. I have made the decision, and it was good. Thornwood Falls definitely coming down. I'm going to try to get a little better. Uh, well, maybe I should Bajuka Bog. That way I can have more Tragic Slips uh, online at the same time. This guy's just looking and digging. Interesting deck so far. Totally not hating it. Super, super weird. Super weird and wacky. Relic of Progenitus. That's actually really bad against me. Or really good against me. That's like really, really good because I got a ton of things that come back from the graveyard. Do I take five? Do I want to take five? Uh, I have no other creatures. Yeah, I guess I'll just block. I guess I'll just block. I'll use Trinket Mage for, um... Oh, you're just going to get rid of all my cards, you son of a bitch. You dirty little bastard. Um, I don't know what kind of deck this is, but I know that it's going to do really well against me. <laughs> I know at least that. So, I've got four online. I could just wipe his field. Ooh, maybe I want to do that, huh? I can't wipe his field. I can wipe his field. I can totally wipe his field. Okay, but you can bug. Clean your, clean your clocks. Get that out of there. Get out of there. And I'm going to clean his field a little later. I want him to uh, pump up that prowess guy. Want him to use up his mana and get that thing really going. Oh. Okay. Well. Um, now I feel kind of bad. I feel really weird right now. This is kind of unusual for me. Let's, uh... Let's just do that. And then I guess I will just take one. Unless he has something to do. Unless he has something big. Something scary. Moldrifter for five. I think I will kill that Moldrifter, actually. Aw, oh, man. Actually, I have no way to get rid of that. Or get that back, so I don't really mind. I have no way to get that back. That guy's coming out. 
And the life staff is getting right on top of him. What do I want? Uh, how about another capsule, actually? That seems kind of cool. And I can even play it, too. How cool is that? Awesome. Sweet. Neato. I don't care about this. Uh, the problem with this is I need, like, multiple things to go in the graveyard at once to keep my flashback alive. But I'm not getting any flashbacks. So, I guess, really, the draw spell... Uh, the creatures disappearing is really hard for me. And... Is there anything else, really? Oh. Well, that's fantastic. <laughs> I wonder what he's going to hit, actually. It's any permanent, right? Yeah, I wonder... Oh, yeah, okay. Hit that, sure. Makes sense. Uh, if he swings, I'm just going to take it. I'm just going to take it. This deck looks like perfectly suited to destroy my deck. <laughs> right? You know what I mean? It looks perfectly suited to take care of me. I I don't see how I'm going to win. <laughs> this is crazy. This is craziness. This is just Sparta. Okay. Yeah, let's All right. So, I have I have ways out of this. Oh boy, I really don't want to use Chainer's Edict. So, I think I'm just going to use that. Crash in for 2. And wipe that out. Okay. So, let's see what we got. Um, Chainer's Edict is usable, but I think I'm going to wait until I have 9 mana. Or unless he gets something that really needs to just die. And how did he do that? Flame Slash. Uh, let's get rid of Traffic Slip. I think I could use Chainer's Edict now. I forgot that I have multiple creatures in there. Oh, that would have been that would have been nice uh, a while ago. You got it, Sunny Boy. I'm not sure what they can do to me here. Uh, I mean, we're we're both just oh okay, just clean everything out. That's also fine. He wants to play creatures. Well, he definitely got rid of my Chainer's Edict. That thing's totally gone, and he's running Preordain. I have never seen a deck like this before. I have no idea what he's doing. Like, what his plan is. I, he's not doing anything wrong. He's doing fine. I guess it's just... I don't know. Does it just rely on, on Jeskai Sage? Sage? This is some kind of control deck. That I understand. I mean, I get it. I just don't know what it does. I've never seen anything like this. I don't know what the white is for. I don't know. I don't know. I'm really weird. I'm, I'm I'm really weirded out. And he's lightning bolting my face. Oh, because he wants to get rid of a card. I see. All right. Well, that's totally useless. This card looks like it's just against. I don't know. I really don't know. I was I was gonna say graveyard strategies, but that's not entirely true because he has a main board relic of progenitus, which is really crazy. Uh, tons of mold drifters. That's the third one in. Holy shit. He's down to 27 cards? Wow! This guy has flown through his deck faster than I have ever seen in my life. Literally everything is a card draw. That, oh, that's what it is. Card draw, except for Flame Slash. Card draw, card draw, card draw, card draw. Life gain. Okay. So this card, so this deck cleans up house, <laughs> is, is, is what you're saying. Okay. Interesting. Oh, the white is for Oblivion Ring, I guess. Just his favorite control card, I suppose. Um, I guess I just leave it at that. I can't uh, yield until end of turn anymore. I'm going to wait until he hits this thing with a lightning bolt or something. <sighs> no, I, I really can't do that, actually, because I want to... Uh... <sighs> I can't believe he has his own one of those things. This is fucking insane. Oh, I should have killed everything before that happened. Oh, I'm an idiot. What a moron. Hey, there's a flame slash. Awesome. Okay, good. Good. Boop. Counters? I wonder if he runs counters, too. 
He's got seven fucking cards. It's crazy. Double lightning bolt. Holy shit. Okay. Uh, let's let's use his ability then. X is currently two. There we go. Clean the board. Uh, X is still currently two. That thing is still dying. Unless he has one more. It's still gonna die. You gotta, you gotta do another thing. Do another thing. Oh, maybe he was looking for another thing? I'm, I'd be surprised if he doesn't have it. Okay. So now it's out of my range. Brainstorm resolves. And then I activate his ability in response to his ability one more time. Uh, then he needs to cast yet another spell. Oh, but that won't wipe the board. Will it? I don't know. Who cares? Let's give it a shot. No, it won't. This is pointless. No, this is pointless. I'll just let this happen. He, he got it out. Because it'll kill itself. I mean, that that's what sucks. It will kill itself, and then the second ability I don't think will trigger. Does it? I don't know. I don't know the rules. I don't know how magic works, guys. This guy's deck. This guy's deck, though. Holy shit, this guy's deck. What is this? You win. Congratulations. Okay. Um, against his garbage, I am putting in <laughs> negate, duress. Um, I don't need naturalize. And who is the underperformers today? Exo capsule. I actually don't want anymore. Uh, do I? No, not really. Chainer's Edict is a little harder, but I'm still going to keep it in. Uh, it's harder to keep keep a hold of. I'm actually going to get rid of a couple of these negates. I think six is ridiculous. Uh, deep Analysis is actually leaving, because I don't want to spend four mana on that. Uh, I, it, it's just, I need more value. I need more creatures. Um, Sercura Tribe is fine. Fume Spitter, I don't... Actually, Fume Spitter would be fantastic against his little guys, so that's definitely staying. Brindle Boar, I definitely want. Sakura Tribe, I definitely want. Crows and Tuskers, I'd want one less of those. Mold Drifters, I like. Undying Evil, I'm not going to use very much of. Although he does have a lot of removal. Maybe I should keep that. Actually, Disturb Burial is probably not going to be sticking around. And... Disturb Burial is not... It, it's just, I need to be a little faster than that because he's got so much burn and so much bullshit in his hand that it's just gone. I'm not sure if I sideboarded correctly against him. Probably not. This seems fantastic because I have turn one to rest, which is exactly what I'd like to do. And then we're going to keep a little eye on all of his cards. Well, okay. So, lands, sage, and lightning bolt. <laughs> That's it. That is it. That's quite a hand. That was quite a hand. Uh, in that case, we're probably dropping this guy because it's going to ramp me pretty well. Picking that up. Passing turn. <sighs> so I know he's got that one little guy. Yeah. Uh, I don't think I'm going to actually duress again. And I don't think I'm going to cast Crypt Rats either yet. Because it's just going to hit this one guy, and I think I can get a lot more value out of it a little later. Ooh, we do have a Chainer's Edict, though, which is going to be nice next turn. Alright, so I'm tapped out. Uh, he's got lands for years. Years! Ooh, now see, Crypt Rats is probably coming down. <laughs> Crypt Rats will probably be making a show today. So, one, two, three, boop, boop, 
and we're just doing it now because I don't want you to even have those guys. So we're doing a sweet little two for one. He is drawing twice though, which kind of sucks. But that's what was going to happen anyway. At least this way they don't do damage to me. He definitely has another card. I have no idea what he's grabbing. Probably not a land card. Probably Sylvic Life Staff, actually. Which I can get rid of. Sylvic Life Staff, right there. There's a duress target. Never mind, he's going to play it. No, he played that. Interesting. Okay. Uh, well, let's get rid of the duress since I have no way of bringing that back. That's so interesting. All right. Um, let's let's Chainer's Edict. And then let's get rid of that Sylvic Life Staff, too. Oh. Or should we get rid of his Compulsive Research? Or the Lightning Bolt. I have no creatures. I don't care if he hits me in the face with it. Compulsive Research will slow him down like crazy. Then again, this will be my only time to get rid of Sylvic Life Staff. Hmm. He did tutor for it. Alright, fine. Life Staff goes. Uh, the other option was Compulsive Research. And now I have just a land of hands, which he has actually better than me, because he can still crack this for more value. He has Compulsive Research, which is probably getting cast right now. Yep. And he can wipe all graveyards if he wanted to, which I think he should, at least soon. And he also has all the land he'll ever need, ever. And he only does this once. Okay, never mind. I thought he would do it. That's really good to see. Uh, yeah, we're we're casting it, baby. We are casting it hard. Of course, this is a lightning bolt target, but at least it's drawing me cards. And it'll get a lightning bolt out of his hand. And I'm gonna draw a gain of life from this. And I have trinket mage. So I think we're okay. I think uh, I think we've done some okay damage to him. I'm still a little worried. Uh, lightning Bolt on this guy for sure. That's like going to happen. But I'd rather him Lightning Bolt my creatures than my face, I think. Maybe I'd rather him Lightning Bolt my face because I do want my creatures all around. I think his deck is just geared perfectly against mine. Oh, he didn't even have to Lightning Bolt. That's weird because... Now I know he still has a lightning bolt in his hand. Whatever. Fine. Whatever. Whatever. It's his choice. He's an adult. He can do what he wants. Let's see what I get with this. Is it going to be life staff? It's probably going to be life staff. Which means it's going to be... Um... Do I want life staff? If I get life staff, he's going to lightning bolt the trinket mage. If I get exo capsule... I'll be able to kill whatever creatures he has. So, I think I'm actually going to get Capsule. I think it's a better choice. And I say that because... I have no other creatures. And Sylvic Life Staff, I would try to equip this. He would kill it. I wouldn't gain anything. And then it's just sitting here until I draw another creature. Uh, that's fine. This way, I can destroy his creatures. Oh, thank God he did that. <laughs> thank God, because I'm sitting on a Chainer's Edict here, and I was like, oh, God, I don't want to play it because he's just going to slowly destroy everything I have. But no, he didn't. And now he's going for my face, which is fine. I don't mind him doing that either. Uh, I have no plays, so I'm just going to sit here. Man, I, I have a lot of lands. <laughs> Probably more than I really needed. And he's got a lot of cards. God damn, he's got a lot of cards. Chainer's Edict, probably, against him. Probably. Oh my. What's he got now? And another creature. So I could wipe his board. I wonder if I could just deck him. Should I just try to deck him? <laughs> I don't think that's a good idea. Oh my god, lands. Come on, guys. Come on, guys. I need, like, real things here. Give me a break. Chainer's Edict, fine. Let's just do that now. I don't need to do it like that. Let's do it like this. He's going to get rid of the 1-3. Uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. I don't quite have enough to do it again. So I'll just take 2. 
maybe more. He probably has a handful of burn. But uh, next turn, if I get another land, which seems to be the case, at least I can still cast Janner's Edict. <laughs> oh, God. God damn. Whoops, 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 whoops. Don't want to do any of that shit. Okay. Pass turn. Yield until end of turn. So I can still kill two of his creatures if he has more creatures. We're both just sort of sitting here. I'm sure he has a hand just full of removal. Maybe I should have... Oh, God. I only have two duresses, though. But I do have more negates. Those negates would be nice. That's an awkward thing to get rid of for me. Oh, my. Yeah, that's really fucking... Oh, my God. Land still? Seriously? Jesus Christ, you guys. And now he's hitting me for four a turn. Great. <laughs> These cards are so random. I swear. I don't know what the hell this is. Who would put this in? And and two of them? Were there, were there two of them? Oh. Yeah, I'm taking four. I'm not going to kill these just yet. He does have me on a three-turn clock. Should I not have taken four? Because is he just going to burn me out right now? What's he getting? Life staff? Probably another life staff, right? Why would he need another life staff? That's silly. How about a relic of progenitus? I don't know what he could get. Seed of the Synod. All right, he's just ramping. He doesn't have enough ramp, apparently. I don't believe this. This is insane. I, I've been getting lands. H how many lands have I gotten? Seriously. I've never seen a deck like this before, by the way. I'm feeling really... A little, a little salty about it. Just a little, a little salty that I'm just drawing nothing but lands, and he's beating me with, like, a deck I've never, ever, even, like, it, it's not even, I've never, ever this deck. Ugh, this feels so awful. This feels so bad. Well, three-turn clock. Maybe, maybe one of these days I'll grab a creature. Life-gaining creature, that's, that's actually good. That is a really good card for me. I'm very happy with that. Of course, he's got a handful of lightning bolts and flame fire bolts and whatever the hell else crap. Swinging in all the way because he's super aggro. Hit OK. See what he does about it. I'll try to undying evil him. It's probably getting this thing's probably getting shot in the in the meantime. I'm assuming it is. I, I really would be shocked if it doesn't. I <laughs> get it. Shocked. And what the hell is this? Exile X cards from your graveyard. It deals X damage to target creature. X is one. So it is getting killed. Yeah. So let's just do that. I'm only getting hit for one. Ah. <sighs> And now I'm on a four-turn clock, so I'm slowly getting more lands, you son of a bitch! Oh my god! Alright, well, you know what? At least I'm on a five-turn clock now. <laughs> my god! Where are my creatures? Come on, man! He's just gonna hit me with three lightning bolts to the face any second now. You know that, right? Like, that's just happening. <laughs> that's just going to happen. This is where I get, grab a Crypt Rats and have to burn myself out. Oh, this is awful. And all this deck is is just draw cards. This is draw cards. Three color draw cards. I don't fucking believe this. Well, there's nothing I can do. <laughs> there, there, there was like no strategy in this in this game at all. Maybe I sideboarded horribly, but I didn't even get many of my sideboard cards. The only sideboard cards I got were two duresses. Yeah, of course, of course. That was just awful, awful. I want to, I want to just, I want to just go back and just take a quick look at how bad that was. O oh and two, O oh and two. All right. How how many? How many? How many? How many? Really? Come on. One, two, three, four, five. Well, six, but I, I, I that that wasn't really six. That was six. Seven. Eight. 
<laughs> Nine. L literally half my half the cards I drew were ten or lands. Eleven. Twelve. And then after that point I was pretty much dead. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Jesus Christ. Huh. Twelve lands. Uh, I mean, I, I, I guess that's fine. I went down to 35, so I want about half, but I, I don't have 24 lands in my deck. I have uh, 21. Uh, I don't know. Whatever. It. I, I guess that was fine. I, I just was not top decking as much as I'm used to. <laughs> <laughs> All right, well, that'll do it for this episode. I will go on to game three immediately after this. I will see you then.